morning. Good morning. I'm Liz. I'm Karen. And welcome to Spice Up Your New Year. This morning, we're going to show you how to make Chinese Five Spice. And then we're also going to show you a recipe of utilizing the Chinese Five Spice. Karen is going to make warm spiced cashews. So I'm going to start with what you would have gotten in your bag. You're going to receive um, instructions and um, directions to how to make both recipes, the Chinese Five Spice, as well as the warm cashews. You're going to receive two little bags of cashews. And you're going to receive a little bag with all of the ingredients. Now, the ingredients vary from region to region, but originally this um, Chinese Five Spice is believed to have originated sometime around um, the fourth century BC. And basically, it was utilizing the five different, um, well, there's this controversy, but it was utilizing the five different um, um, elements, earth, fire, water, wood, and metal. So there's others that think it might be the five tastes, sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and spicy. In any event, it always contains five elements, which the um, Chinese always associate with healing. And it, it was believed to help with the yin and yang of the body. And the, again, the um, ingredients vary from culture to culture, but the most common ingredients are star anise. We put in six little pods in here, two teaspoons of Szechuan peppercorns, one and a half teaspoons of fennel seeds, one and a half teaspoons of cloves, and a cinnamon stick. So those are all gonna be in your bag as well. And what we did this morning is we put those all in a Nutribullet. You can put them in a coffee grinder. If need be, you can also use um, a rolling pin. We did that as well. And just sort of mush that up, which I'm gonna show you right now in a quick second. Is it share screen? Oh, no, it's And we, so we added all the ingredients to this Nutribullet. We spared you your ears and we're just gonna push down once, but basically push down a couple of times. And again, if you do not have a coffee grinder or a bullet at home, you're using a rolling pin, a mortar and pestle, any sort of grinding tools will do. And then take it up. Smell how great yeah. fragrant. Mm, that smells great. Here is your Chinese five spice. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Karen. She's gonna add this to her warm cashew recipe and show you how to do it. Okay, so um, you're, you want to have your cashews ready. Um, you're going to need some peanut oil, some brown sugar, um, cumin, red pepper, and of course the five spice, which we just made. So, um, you want to put all of those ingredients into a saucepan and warm it up. Oh, really good. I'm gonna add my five spice now, which is, I think, like a half a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. All that, very fragrant. Then I'm going to put on a piece of parchment in a baking pan, spread them out. Um, then you're going to put this into a preheated 350 degrees oven for about seven. seven minutes. Okay, so it's really quick. Put that in the oven. And when, um, after it's done, it'll, come, it'll look like this. Um, it's a little more toasted. Like it's really delicious, and Liz did a great job of packaging it, recycling a jelly jar, and she did this beautiful. Um, what, is, what is this? Candied or it's just a dried orange? A dried orange, with cinnamon stick, some ribbon, and twine. So it it makes a great gift. It's delicious. It's healthy. Got some good nutrition.